makeup look it's just a summer kind of vibes makeup look I use the Jaclyn Hill palette so if you're interested in seeing how to get this look on my face then just continue watching so jumping straight in and starting off with priming our face I'm using the Nivea men's crochet balm and just massaging this into my face until it feels tacky enough for my foundation for foundation I'm using my Maybelline fit me foundation in Madame Paula's I believe this is like 320 or something. It is my fake tan shade as I am currently fake tanning in this video. So, And once I've dabbed it all over my face with my foundation brush, I'm just blending it in with my beauty blender and making sure that it has a flawless finish all over my face. I really love this foundation because it's just so flawless and full coverage and I just really needed that full coverage as I was having breakouts all over my face. For concealer today, I decided to switch it up and use my Maybelline Fit Me concealer. I believe it, this is in the shade 10 Light and I'm just like using it to conceal but mostly highlight the portions of my face. So I'm just going under the eyes, my chin, cupid's bow, down the bridge of my nose, my forehead and just the sides of my nose to contour a little bit. And once again, I'm just blending that out with my Beauty Blender. Just a quick update, I have been real MIA lately just because my voice has not been the same since I got sick and I've just been like really busy with work and everything, working like 5 days a week is like killing my life. So yeah, I'm trying to like get back into schedule and start uploading more and just get that creativity back in me so bear with me as I like go through my processes of like creativity stunts so yeah, that's a quick update. Anyway, to set the concealer in place, I'm using my Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder and I'm just only really setting my under eyes because I tend to crease that if I don't set it. So yeah, I'm just baking under my eyes with my Wet Beauty Blender and make sure it is a Wet Beauty Blender because that actually makes it just like set even more and just have that withhold strong power. Now I'm just bronzing up my face with my MAC Give Me Sun bronzer. Um, this is like a really good bronzer when you are feeling real pale and you just want that summer bronze all over and Since this is a like summer springy makeup tutorial. I thought it would be perfect for this look Moving on to contouring. I'm using my Hula Benefit bronzer and carving out my cheekbones and the perimeter of my face with my NARS Eater brush I also do go down the sides of my nose just to add a bit of colour and dimension there because we don't want a pasty nose either. <laughs> and then I move on to blush and for blush I'm using my Tiger Lily blush by Becca Cosmetics. This is such a beautiful tangerine colour but watch out guys, it is really pigmented so just like dab a little and then pull eye because you will get that colour pay off straight away. For highlight today, I'm using my Mary Luminizer by The Balm. Seriously you guys, I wish this footage was better because my cheekbones and like Cupid's bow were popping. The only place that you can really see is on the bridge of my nose, but this highlight is like bomb as fuck. So like, seriously, if you don't have a good highlight, invest in this. Moving on to the eyes now, I'm using my Morphe Brushes Times Jaclyn Hill palette. And I'm using Creamsicle as my transition shade on my Morphe M504 brush. So I'm just really buffing this into the crease and really blowing it out. On my 227 Luxe Soft Definer brush by Zoeva, I pick up the shade Roxanne. And pinpoint this more into the crease and really add that depth in the crease. Throughout these clips, I switch from my Morphe 504 brush, which was the first blending brush, and my Zoeva 227 brush, just to make sure that they have the seamless blend between each shade and there are no harsh lines. Next I pick up this royal blue shade from the Jaclyn Hill X Morphe palette which is called Twer and I pack this shade on with my Luxe Smoky shade. To be honest I did have a hard time like packing this shade on because it wasn't as pigmented as I'd like 
And when I went blending throughout the crease and try to make that seamless blend between the crease and the lid shade, I did find that the pigment was wearing off, so I did have to pack it on a couple of times. But if you have patience with this eyeshadow, it is such a beautiful shade and it is worth it. Using my 237 Detail Shader Brush by Zoeva, I picked up the shade Pool Party and I just like placed this in the center of my lid. I wanted to create more mermaid vibes and a pop of color in the middle. So I thought this would be perfect. And seriously, this is the moment where I just fell in love with this eyeshadow look. Once I packed Pool Party in the center of the lid, I went back into Twerk and just reapplied it from the inner and outer corner to make sure that the halo was seamless and blending. And then I went onto my lower lash line and blended the same colors that I applied on the top to the bottom. So I went first in with Creamsicle and blended that with my Zoeva Luxe Pencil Brush. And then I picked up Roxanne, and then I picked up Twerk, and just blend them all on the lower lash line and really smoke it out. I then decided to go with this light blue aqua shade in my waterline by LA Girl. I'll list the colour down below, but I decided to go with this colour because I felt like it made my eyes pop more and it made the shade Pool Party pop as well. So it just worked out in my favour. Then I decided to curl my lashes and apply my Better Than Sex Waterproof Mascara. And once I applied a generous coat of that mascara, I decided to apply my lashes off camera and I used the Coco Lashes in the style Stella. And because I'm extra as fuck, I decided to go in with my Honeymoon Colourpop Cosmetics Highlighter, which has a duochrome of blue and violet glitters in it. And I just and I am just living for this highlighter. Honestly, this footage is not capturing it, but it is like seriously so bomb in real life. Bomb as fuck. Then for lips, to finish it off, I went in with my Kylie Cosmetics Liquid Lipstick in the shade Exposed. I finally found this lipstick when cleaning my room the other day, so I'm so freaking ecstatic. Like this is my favorite color of all time. It's like that perfect nudie peach. Oh, and I forgot to highlight my inner corner, so I went back in with that Honeymoon Colourpop highlighter and just applied that in the inner corner. I felt like this just completed the look absolutely, like, fabulously because <laughs> I sound like a demon, but it just really just complements those blue tones. I cue those awkward poses as I say my outro. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to thumbs it up and subscribe down below, and I'll see you in my next video.